You're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend, I mean. Just here for a drink or listen to the music, like that. But if you're here for something a little more concise, we have plenty of Aurora on the brain. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs, alcohol, smoking, and drinking. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the palate. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really get a price on all of this? The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. But I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP Pass. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the place. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its treasures and patentry are only an elevator away. Hope to see you again. I think I got them, what do they call them, horns? Yeah, I got some of them. You don't need to wear your helmet on the train. You know that, right?
It's a dull set voice for you, man. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. How are the preparations coming? The Astral Lounge, and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you.
Dusty. Dusty. Oh. Pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's ridiculous. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. No, he isn't. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Sorry, but I can't. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. Before I make you. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter and Pierre, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door or no right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, straight across through the door. Keep going all the way to the end. Shoot, you 
Just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know. One chance to back off. Now. This place ain't for the likes of you. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's yeah. mine.
Yeah, Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back now at the station. then we'd just send credits instead of people. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! We should have a talk. When you have the time, of course.
I've been meaning to thank you for helping me with the Crimson Fleet before. I could have handled it myself, of course, but it's good working with a team. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. I'm guessing gourmet chunks days are out of the question then. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. Constellation is so much more than that. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yes, he's gone now. <laughs> I... I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. Wow. More brilliant than any star. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. I have something for you. Here, I got this for you. Yes, it's for you. I kept the cooler stuff. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. You're quite welcome. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you.
don't believe him. No, now isn't the best time. But I need to talk with you later. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star War. Demand we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with our parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that! Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Yes? Spend so much time looking at the scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my head. Got one. I'd go into the astronomical charting data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it. This really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was doing the tallies work in my head. Inventory on the station. Next supply run.
had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs>